Yeah, there's well, not a better venue there. than this. We, we, we heard that. a rumor we could have done this inside, and Joe didn't. Want to come, so. <laughs> uh, we could have done it inside. <laughs> well, for it would be such a big game to have your, you know, all three facets really put it together. What, what did that mean to you? What did it say about the team? I thought this morning when we did our walkthrough, the guys were very focused. I think this entire week, they knew what was at stake. They knew the team that we were playing. They knew that we had to be on the road and. I think their entire preparation, mindset, and focus showed up tonight, and that's kind of how they started on Sunday. But Friday night, we had a really good meeting, and it was uh, short and sweet, and these guys were locked in, and then this morning, there wasn't a whole lot to be said. They, they had themselves ready to play, and that's the sign of the leadership on the team and these guys preparing themselves the right way to go out there and start fast. We talked about Utah State was a, st a fast starting team, and especially on the road, you want to do that against an explosive offense like this. And so we were going to plan on taking the ball. They, they won the toss. We got the ball anyway, and we wanted to go score because we wanted to try to put a little bit of pressure on them. And then we were able to do that. And just from that point on, I think that created momentum. And we were able to score on defense. We were able to score on special teams. And so you kind of put them all together. And you know that's one of the more complete games that we played this season. You look at George Kalani. Um, you know, we talked about his toughness and stuff earlier this year. but. He seems, the game seems to be slowing down for him, and he seems to be being patient and feeling stuff out. And he's got like 250 yards on 25 carries over the last few games. Well, he's he's getting better, and I think the guys in front of him are getting better. I think the tight ends, uh, everybody from what I saw on the sideline, they were doing their job in the run game. You know, we didn't have a lot of negative plays in the run game. We had the one there, uh, a little bit of an adjustment play, and it didn't work. And so that's not on our players. That's, that's on just making a, a better play call. But... Overall, the O-line coming off the ball, the tight ends coming off the ball, the backs hitting it. That was one thing tonight. I thought every one of our backs, and George in particular, hit the hole extremely hard. And there was a lot of power behind it, and a lot of speed and momentum built up. And sometimes when you when you run like that, you're hard to stop. And then you create uh, a little bit of a one-on-one -on -one matchup when you get to a safety. And he has to freeze his feet. And we were able to bounce and make a few cuts and get some explosive runs out of it. But as the season goes on, all these guys, especially young players, I mean, George has gotten very little college reps, right? When you think about live action, um, he's a true freshman. So as the season goes on, the more opportunities he gets, the better he's going to play. And he's shown that. For, for Jalen Walker to get that pick six, and he already had a couple pass breakups before that. It seemed like he was playing well. I mean, what did that do to put you guys up 14-7 and kind of started the, the route? I think Jalen's preparation showed up. I really do. I think that's what he's been doing in practice. He did that a few times this week, and he was dialed on the play. I think the play call was also dialed in as well, but then you got to go execute it, and he did. And anytime you can go and snatch a ball like that that fast and just hit it, you know, everyone's like, what the heck just happened? And you're in the end zone, and all of a sudden it's seven more points for the Broncos. That's a big-time play, and I, I think that's really difficult to do against a good offense and a quarterback like that. So that type of play that I think that was a momentum changer in the game too. We scored on offense, we score on defense. You see things like that. I mean, guys get excited about it and they start to see that, all right, the work we're putting in is paying off. And in a game like this and on the road and for the opportunities that we have because of this game, you know, those things, that creates a lot of a lot of momentum on the sideline, a lot of energy. We were joking around about turnovers on, on Thursday. You said your roadmap to victory or whatever was running the ball well, winning the turnover battle, and not allowing big plays. Could you guys have followed it any better tonight? Well, we needed to. You know, we talked about that, right? We hadn't done that necessarily, and we were still winning games. And so I still think those stats show up as how you're going to win the ball game uh, more consistently. And that's exactly what we talked about this week. We talk about it every single week. It's just, all right, how do we go out there and do that? So just because we say it, you still have to emphasize it. We still have to prepare it. And those guys have to go out there and execute it. And I think they knew the game plan. I don't think there was anything this week that, that I said or any coach said that these guys don't understand. And you know, our captains and the, and the seniors on this team, I thought there was a lot of guys that stepped up. And I thought there was a lot of motivation and internally for us to be able to do those factors that we talk about, you know, go out there and execute them and, and win the battles that we talk about, um, and turnovers and running the ball and, and red zone and all those things like that, and it showed up tonight. Usually, uh, you know, you can't start three quarterbacks because of injuries. And things have gone all haywire for their season. How have you guys managed to just sort of keep playing through this and keep winning and, and executing? And yeah, next man up. It, it, it really is, and I know it's – it's cliche that way, but it's, that's just how it is. But you got to have that. You got to have that mindset 
Uh, Jalen wouldn't be having the type of performances he's had if it was all of a sudden like, okay, now it's my opportunity, all right? And and also just his approach to it. He's obviously played in a couple games and has played well, and we've scored quite a few points, and he's just out there leading. There's, there's nothing about him. It's all about us, and it's all about what do we have to do. And he'll he'll do whatever it takes. I really believe that. And that's the best part about coaching a guy like that is – He's waited, he's waited, he's waited. Here's your opportunity. And it's not about the time you waited, it's about the opportunity. And not everybody's like that. And right now, he's just in the moment. And the best thing for Jalen Henderson is to stay in the moment. Can you tell us about running, running statue? I know that's a very famous <coughs> play here, about, about, about just yeah. what, what the, the play call and why you guys decided to do it. And yeah, we, I grabbed an old game plan and we kind of dusted it off and it seemed like the right time to do it. I don't know, some, you know every week's different. Every week you kind of, start putting together your plan and you know sometimes things start coming together a little creativity shows up at midnight or whatever and it's like we should try this and and we were able to go out there and execute it and we ran it well and our guys scored and you know we had to play to Ezra Cleveland that we thought would score we've had that in for a while I mean really from the first game it just he's been in and out and things like that and um that was the most disappointing thing probably for him was he didn't get in the end zone right uh, tonight because everything else everything else seemed to work out pretty well you know from the old line standpoint but that's part of what we do that's part of who we are that's going to be things that our guys should expect week in and week out because they're good at it and I think they enjoy it and it makes the game fun and those guys they can go out there and execute it, and we're able to score. And it's it's a trick play, but it's also one that we were able to get an advantage on, and we got we got the advantage. You guys Probably. could lock up the uh, the division title, and you're going to host uh, you know uh, Hawaii in two weeks. Uh, you obviously still have a game left, but to get part of one of your goals accomplished, and sure. not only get in the game but to host it, how's that feel? Well, it's, it's yeah, it's a big accomplishment. Uh, it's not the focus this week, and I told our guys that, and everybody knows that it's a big accomplishment. You want to win your division. We still have a division game left, and we want to finish our season how we planned on finishing it. We, when we saw the schedule in May or whenever it was, and this is what we got, these are the teams that we want to go out there and play and hopefully win. But to play in that game, and I told the seniors in there that was not the last game they played on the blue. You know, They created another opportunity for them, and that's, that's really our goal every single year is to have that opportunity to play in a championship. And if guys come to Boise State, no guarantees, but they're going to have a chance. I think we've proven that over the years. You play at Boise State, you're going to have a chance and they will get their opportunity, and then it's a matter of going out there and executing and, and uh, finding a way to win that game. But Colorado State, after what we've been through when we played down there a few years ago, uh, we're not going to go overlook that football team. And I think our guys understand there's another week of prep and another opportunity for us to find ways to get better in areas and then go out there and execute against another good football team on the road. Probably tough to say without watching the film, but but the offensive line and the run game was so much better tonight <clears throat> than it's been most of the year. Any, any you know idea of why that happened tonight? I have an idea why. Yeah, I'm not going to say it, but I have an idea why. And I think those guys were extremely motivated. Uh, and I also think that we were better, just physically better. I think that, and not against Utah State, just we were physically better in this game. I think. The running backs and everybody that was involved in the run game, that was a major focus going into this, especially on the road against a team that can put points on the board very quickly. You've got to be able to run the ball. Otherwise, they're going to get the ball back probably sooner than you want. And those guys took it to heart. So the things you talk about, it's, it's good to say it, but those guys locked into it and they were the ones that executed. They took tremendous pride in prepping themselves to go play like they did, and they were doing it in practice too. And this late in the season, the way they practiced, it showed up in the game. Okay. Thank you.